welcome to the Wilhelm Kyle YouTube channel, formerly Time Trail, uh, still Time Trail on Instagram, so go check out the Instagram if uh, you're not coming from there, and if you are coming from there, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like it, and if not, you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, so quick wristwatch check, the Belova 666 Devil Diver Chronograph. Uh, so this is a watch that I acquired a couple weeks ago. So we're going to be doing, uh, this video is going to be about this watch. We're going to do a full overview on the watch, what I think about it uh, after requiring it, and all the little foibles that you have to be ready when you're buying, uh, you know, cheaper vintage watches, but overall all vintage watches, whether on eBay or otherwise. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video, guys. Here it is, guys, the Belova Devil Diver Chronograph. The Devil Diver gets its name from its depth rating, which is 666 feet. These watches are from the early 70s. This particular one is from 1971. As you can see, the watch is in great condition. I found it on eBay, bought it a couple weeks ago. I've been kind of following them for nine months or so. I was waiting for one on bracelet on good condition. I'm usually a little bit nitpicky about the uh, kind of look of vintage watches because I'd like to the, for them to be as original as possible. I don't like patina that much. so. I found this one and it looks uh, looks great. Price-wise, you should expect to pay between six to eight hundred bucks for a non-bracelet version of this watch. For on-bracelet, you're expecting to pay anywhere between eight to thirteen hundred bucks, twelve hundred bucks. You should also take into account that it may need a service. In fact, all of them will need a service unless they are being sold as serviced already. And you can add an additional three to four hundred bucks to get these watches serviced. So make sure that the original purchase price plus this additional service cost isn't too far out of the price range because as I've said before you want to try and get the best deal you can not necessarily for resale value but just because it feels great to get a good deal uh, on what you're buying like I said it's in great condition wearability of this watch is great it's a 38 millimeter diameter watch it's a 45 and a half millimeter lug to lug and it's got a 20, mil 20 millimeter lug width so you can fit a bunch of different straps on it it's just a great watch. It's a little bit chunky. It's kind of like those vintage Hoyers, um, but overall super wearable, super light on the wrist. You forget that it's on your wrist. And uh, I would just be careful with the bracelet. Make sure that you're not too too rough on it because it, you know it is a 50 year old watch. You can break stuff and whatever. Moving on to you know just the value that's presented in the market right now. I think that if you get this watch in the lower end of that, you're getting a, an amazing piece for an amazing price. Belova. Despite not being top tier luxury, it is an iconic brand that has made you know a variety of different watches. I believe this Devil Diver to be one of their icons, especially in chronograph form. I love the fact that I looked for one that said the 666 feet on the dial. Not all of them say it, and it's just uh, it's just a piece that it, it just you know it's probably easily worth double really in, in you know in the market, and I think. Bulova reissued the regular time-only version of the snorkel uh, snorkel diver and I think they'll probably eventually reissue the chronograph version and I think that only makes the original ones go up in value I think that, that they will be you know be creeping up in value a little bit but overall that's not why I bought it I bought it just because it's a great piece that I can enjoy after I get it serviced and uh, so it, it is what it is guys let me know what you guys think let me know if this is a piece that you would buy uh, I would definitely explore it on eBay, um, see what you can find out there. Maybe you can get an even bit better deal than I did. And uh, let me know. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out the Instagram, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.